Ladies and gentlemen, Pittsburgh guy here. The uh, I had a couple friends tell me that there's a new Spider-Man trailer. I wanted to check it out. I stayed off the internet all day today, so we're gonna look at it. And without further ado, let's get started right away. Got my Spider-Man bank and plug in and go. Plug in. There it is. Ever since I got bit by that spider, I've only had one week where my life has felt normal. That was when you found out. When you botched that spell where you wanted everyone to forget the Peter Parker Spider-Man. We started getting some visitors. Willem Dafoe. From every universe. Electricity. Talk off. Looking Hello, good. Peter. You're not Peter Parker. I'm sorry, what was your name again? Dr. Otto Octavius. <laughs> 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 Wait, no, seriously, what's your actual you name? You can actually kill two of your friends if you want to kill There are others out there. We need to send them back. So, Scooby-Doo this crap. You know, all this is kind of your mess. I know a couple of magic words myself, starting with the word please. Please, Scooby-Doo this crap. Hey, Jonah. You're flying out into the darkness to fight ghosts. What do you mean? They all die fighting Spider-Man. It's their fate. I'm sorry, kid. Yeah, me too. Don't. Yeah, Doctor Strange. Put him in his place. Look, there has to be another way. There isn't. They're a danger to our universe. You're not gonna take this away from me. You're struggling. Things I want to talk Have about. Everything you want, while the world tries to make you choose. Four, five. This is all my fault. I can't save everyone. They're starting to come through, and I can't stop them. December 17th. Okay. Uh, first off, the trailer was fantastic. Um, so we got, what, uh, Ghostbusters, Matrix, and Spider-Man coming around all at the same time. Uh, exclusive, uh, blah, exclusively in movie theaters, December 17th. Now, the points that I wanted to make. Number one, I noticed that... We have, they didn't show Garfield or Tobey Maguire. I know they're in the movie. There's been speculation. And we've got Tobey's villains in the movie. We've got Garfield's villains in the movies. And, you know, there's five members of the Sinister Six that were introduced here. So the sixth one could be Tom Holland's only villain that he thinks is dead. But we'll see. I have speculation about that. But first off, um, I have... I bought these, I can't even read, hold on a second. When you get old, you got to wear glasses like this. What year did this come out? I should have researched this before I even like, should be right there. April of what? Anyways, so, so I bought these in the 80s. My grandfather got them for me and it's the original Sinister Six from Marvel Tales Spider-Man and as you can see there's Vulture, Mysterio, Kraven the Hunter, Dr. Octopus, Electro and who's the other? Sandman. Now Sandman goes both ways he either could be the hero the villain or the anti-villain 
or the anti-hero. And we also have this group of the Sinister Six, but this one omitted, I believe, Craven the Hunter in the comics committed suicide, or he died of some, of some sort, and they added Hobgoblin, who's Ned Leeds, and if Ned, his friend's supposed to become Hobgoblin down the road, he's too young to be that, so this one's out. Now, the things that I saw that I loved. First off, I'm not a fan of Garfield Spider-Man. I think he's a good actor. I didn't like his Spider-Man versions. I watched the movie once, Amazing 1 and Amazing 2. I thought the lizard, the CGI was uh, suspect. Um, the second one, Electro, I did not like the way he was put together and I love Jamie Foxx. Uh, that Harry, Harry Osborn's Goblin 2 or, or Goblin Jr., whatever he was, I, did, I hated it. And the Rhino, Paul Giamatti's a great actor and they put him in his big old metal robotic type suit and call that the rhino it was just terrible um but we also have norman osborne uh w willem dafoe who's fantastic we have uh doc ock who i think spider-man 2 is the best spider-man movie ever made so far and um that's um alfred molina who's great in the role and then we have uh the sandman um is it hayden christensen no that's that's anakin skywalker uh, Hayden Church, Thomas Church, Thomas Hayden, whatever the guy's name is, he was on Wings, he played Sam, and he did a, an amazing job. If you see Spider-Man 3, the whole scene with him trying to become a man from sand and holding his daughter's picture, that's one of the best uh, uh, cinema moments in my life. Um, but there's only five members of the um, Sinister Six. Now, I can say this. Now, you see right here, and I'm going to put this little clip art up. And then if you can see this, my uh, Falcon four-part series, this is the Electro I like. And I think he's such a great character, super powerful. Jamie Foxx in the, the part two, I think it was, was blue and he was bald and it was just, I didn't get it. And the way he acted, I mean, I mean it wasn't him. It was tell, them telling him what to do, the director. But um, seeing the five points like he has on his mask as he was charging up was phenomenal. And seeing Green Goblin doing his thing and Doc Ock looked really good. Uh, Sandman was, you know, the large version of Sandman. It was at the end of three when um, um, James Franco came to help Spider-Man fight them and Venom. But, you know, we only have five. So who's number five? So here's my, here are my theories. Mysterio never died. And that would be Tom Holland's villain because Garfield has the lizard, and I hope they clean up the CGI, and he has um, Electro and, uh, who's the other one? A rhino. I, I, rhino could be one of them. I hope not. At least if not that version, I hope they did a better job of it. But um, I also believe that we could have the Vulture with Michael Keaton. We could also do, um, who's the other one? Craven the Hunter who is actually going to be in um, some sort of movie uh, signed with, I believe, Sony Pictures or Marvel. And we also have the speculation of, we did Craven, Rhino. Who's the other one? I just had it in the top of my head. There's one more. The other possibility could be Tom Hardy's Venom. He could be a villain, he could be a hero, or he could be somewhere in the middle helping out Spider-Man or all the Spider-Mans, because there are going to be three of them, or helping out the villains. So, I mean, we saw at the end of Venom Part 2, uh, Let There Be Carnage, I believe it was called, where he, um, at the very end, I think it was the end credit, was there one or two? Two. I think it was two. But the end credit scene where he wakes up, he's watching TV. Some guy comes out, he goes, what are you doing in my room? He's watching TV. J. Jonah Jameson's there, who we see in this trailer. And um, he sees Spider-Man and, and Venom's like, I don't like that guy. And it, had, it almost had the same layout and the same look. So I believe Tom Hardy's going to be in this movie. I believe um, we're going to have that sixth member, uh, whether it's Venom or Craven or... Mysterio or 
um, the Vulture. It's probably going to be Mysterio. But, um, I mean, either way, it's it, the movie looks really good. And just to see Tobey Maguire come back as Peter Parker, Spider-Man. And Tobey, for me, I grew up, that was my first set of Spider-Man movies I really loved. And what sold me on Tobey was the fact that he played a great Peter Parker. It's like Batman, Bruce Wayne, you got Batman, you got Tony Stark, you got Iron Man, you got Peter Parker, you got Spider-Man. The thing is, can the actor portray the superhero in the costume and the actual person? The person that could be, you know, plain Jane like he is, you know, a high school guy that just wasn't very popular, but he was smart. So, um, this movie is a must-see for me. Um, the trailer was great. And at, at the very end, the, uh, the lines in the sky almost look like in Loki when um, Kang, the Conqueror, was talking about, you know, when the timelines are disrupted, they'd start to branch off. But it looked like the beginning, and Doctor Strange said, I can't stop it. So, I don't know, man. I mean... This movie looks great, and I am looking forward to seeing it, and it is literally, what is today, the 16th, 17th? It's 30 days away, so that's a Christmas present all in itself. So until next time, Pittsburgh guy out.